Ali Pasha, Pepelena, Pepelena is a small city close to Jerocas, historical figures in Albania, who tried to join some principates of Albania at that time. But he fought together with, against the Greeks. Uh, he decided to, to put his complete leadership on the Albanian territory. Uh -huh. So first he fought. Pepelena, Pepelena is a small city close to Jerocasta. Uh -huh. Ali Pasha Petelena. But he's very famous, and the Lord Byron wrote about him, uh -huh. the British writer. Yeah. Writer. <coughs> himself with the French, taking with the French, getting some help from the Russians, uh -huh. and then fighting against the Ottomans. So he was a French engineers and architects. So he knew how to collaborate with mm -hmm. foreign strong powers at the time to make the battle. He was ruling around here in the uh, early 19th century. So uh, we're talking about a different situation nowadays, but still, it's quite, quite interesting. So we, we, we share... It's the like the uh, But of course, uh, men also had uh, quite a lot of dresses. But some of these photos in particular have been gathered to show this. So a young lady would wear, for example, something white. A lady who is married uh, would wear something colored. In my age, I would look to the dark face. <laughs> <laughs> Balkans, but also Europe. Uh, so what you see here is uh, major conferences that decided on the to be and still is in terms of Albanian inhabited land. On both sides of the borders you find Albanian speaking villages indicates, it tells you that those are in the century when it came to world power deciding on fate of small countries like ours. 
of this is this is a, a special region, this uh, this legend with this territory of the Balkans. So Serbian troops, Montenegrin troops, Bulgarian troops, Greek troops, the the borders of Albania, the borders, and what happened with these various armies? Just for your information, Your Highness, Albania. There has unfortunately been others coming into this area rather than we going. And you know, it was invited by north by the Serbs, sure. in the west by Italians, and south by Greeks. Everybody tried to keep yeah. some some yeah. land some yeah. that way. But finally, this is the we support the same thing in this country. Yeah, yeah. Elected to be a king in 1928, he served as a king until 1939, and left the country with his family when he was 1939. We remember that day very well. So the king. Left of course, there is always debate about the various phases each country goes through, yeah. and the kingdom yeah. couldn't. Yeah. After 1991, with the new democratic yeah. Yeah. bunkers. Yeah. The communists built many bunkers because of their frenzy of the time that they would be attacked by the Americans, by the British, and then later on by the Yugoslavs or by the Greeks. Or we multiply 700 by 4, that would be the Albanian population of the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. A city. Uh, Proclaimed by UNESCO in 2005, its world heritage is a jewel on the crown of jewels of the world. Uh, mind and strong people, not only economically, but also with the vision. Uh, those house with cisterns, so a lot of energy spent to build, but also to maintain such large constructions. The tradition, the uh, elders pass the tradition to youngsters, dancing, singing, pre-World War I, post-World War I, in peaceful time. Kind of wood carvers or very good stone carvers, uh, grandma with his child. So by looking at those photos, you actually go through the history, centuries of history. Of <laughs> As a forever man. Uh, yeah. But uh, this view, uh, your highness indicates... Where is this? This is, we can see it from the castle. Uh, the is the, of, uh, yep, or the obelisk. We, we can see it very easily. Place. It's in the center of the city. Built by the Roman? No, actually this. Yeah, it's, uh, the Illyrians. The Illyrians coexisted with the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, the Thracians, or modern-day most important ancient tribes in modern-day Trieste, down along the coast of the Adriatic, Croatia, Slovenia. We forced yeah, them to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people, of course, bought it. Bought the, bought the joke yeah. uh, because there is a lot of uh, food which we're going to be enjoying during lunch, which uh, is particularly to be seen. Come here because of the cold, but he really would love to have it. Very nice. In the, in the 31 December, 31st of December yeah. and the 1st of January. After that, the Muslim community, the biggest one celebrated the Madan, the the Your Christian was for the very first time. Our daughter didn't have a son for many years, and the daughter of Ramadan. And we were surprised. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Yes. But it's good. Yeah. It's good. And it is healthy. Yeah, of course. It's healthy. Ramadan? Yep. We say healthy. After Haris, we should go. Haris is like porridge, but the oil, Qatari, oh, oh, Good morning.